Hey, how's it going now? Welcome back to the channel, Skyrim and the Dawnguard DLC playthrough. Okay, we've completed the quest in New Order and Israel wants to have a chat. So let's go see what old Grumpy Pants wants. Okay, let's pop up the stairs. I haven't explored uh, the fort yet, so I'm still getting lost. Where are you, boy? There you go. Well, Serena's here. This vampire showed up while you were away. Oh, did she now? I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. What are you doing here? here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. What about the scroll? The reason I had it and why I was down there. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and he just kind of lost himself in it. What sort of prophecy? It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with the scroll. What's all this have to do with the Dawnguard? I'm sorry. I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. Was I wrong? No, you're right. We just have to convince well, the others you're on our side. I'm nothing if not persuasive. <laughs> Let's speak to Istra and see what he's got to say. Has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Because we're going to need her help. Why? Because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out? Pretty much, Do yeah. Do you actually believe any of that? Pretty much, yeah. Why else would Who she knows? risk her life to come here? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I think you it should. Can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Yeah, mate, I'm the Dragonborn. Don't feel like a guest because you're not. Don't think I'm worried. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. Now, now, Serena. So, in case you Serena, didn't sorry. The giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Who can? Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of that can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Well, that's very convenient. No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. No. <laughs> I love his voice. <laughs> and I intend to it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. I think you just said that. Where would a moth priest well, actually go? You know, the College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Okay, well, lucky I know uh, where we can go exactly to find out uh, 
uh, what we need to do. Okay. Let's just run on out. And I think we're going to speak to a carriage driver because if you want to know anything that's going on in the city, you ask a taxi driver. Come on, guys. Come on, chop chop. Okay, pop over to White Run and to the stables. Okay, let's go and find that carriage driver. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. There you are. Can take you to any of the hold capitals. Have you seen a moth priest? It's one of them imperial scholars, right? That's right. Old man with a grey robe. Uh huh. That's right. Have you seen him? Might be that I have, but I can't say for sure. I got enough troubles on my mind just trying to scrape by out here. Oh, you can try and persuade him, um, or you can bribe him for 730 on, gold or old gold. Tried to hire it's good to work on your speech. But I told him that ain't one of my stops. Okay, so we know you went to uh, Dragon uh, Bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's pop over there. Okay. Where's Dragon's Bridge? And where are you? There you go. Okay, let's go there. Okay, so... What you want to do is go and find a guard at the bridge and ask him. Ah, oh, taking a wrong turn there. Oh, there's a bridge. He was right beside it. What a doofus. Okay, there's no uh, guard there. Um, okay, we saw one running past. There he is, right at the top. Let's catch him up. Oh, Neve's a fit old girl. Dragon know anything about a moth priest visiting Dragon old... Bridge? Ah, so that was a moth priest then. And a dragon attack. Fantastic. Really? Ah. I'll just let them deal with it. I'll pop up a couple of astronauts to give him a hand. Go on then, guys. You deal with him. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I really can't be bothered. Okay, gold, two, six, four, nom, nom. Uh, ice arrow, oh, nom, nom, that reminds me I've got to top up um, Genesis and Cedric's arrows. Come on, give me your nommy soul. Nom, 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 nom. Yes, I am, Genesis. Okay, we'll hop on to uh, Shadowmere. Turning a horse is dodgy in Skyrim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bloody hell. Anyway, pop over the bridge and go down the road. Come on, guys. Come on, Cedric. Okay, what we're going to find is a scene of an attack somewhere. It's somewhere around here. Ah, there you go. Uh, nothing on him. Oh, I 
I'll take that, nom nom. Uh, I've got to cure my uh, vampirism. Okay, let's search this guy. Gold. Don't want that. Ooh, three, lovely. Nom nom. Let's see what this note says. I hate to see dead animals. Okay, let's see what the uh, note says. Oh, come on, come on. There you go. Have new orders prepared for an ambush just south of Dragon Bridge. Take the moth priest to uh, four bears holdout for safekeeping. Until blah blah blah. Okay, the map's been updated. Okay, where are you? Dum 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 dum. Oh, it's right next to us. What an idiot. What a plonker. <laughs> okay, we're fast travel there. I'm being extremely lazy by doing that. Okay, let's crack on. So, up to uh, Four Bears Holdout, and uh, I think I'll go in solo on this one. I certainly don't like to bring um, Cedric into, uh, or, yeah, a bit of a cutscene there, Serana got into a very pointless fight, so anyway, we're into uh, Four Bears Holdout, and we're going to go sneaky sneaky on this one. I'm not going after all the chests, I'm sure there's stuff I'm going to miss in here, so you guys have a little hunt around. I'm just getting, get it done and get out. There's a little woofer. Good night. Oh, oh. Damn clipping. It's really weird when the game clips sometimes and doesn't others. Okay, anyway, carry on. Quite an interesting little uh, place, this, actually. Okay, just nip up the stairs. And where are you? There's a thrall there. Good night. What you got? Oh, 100 gold. Uh, no. Okay. Good night. So sneak mode. This guy's quite tough, by the way. Oh, sneak attack and a critical strike. That's good. I got lucky. Where are you? What are you doing? Doesn't matter. Good night. Got pick. Nom nom. Vampire dust. Nom nom. And there's a chest here. Level three. Huh. Yeah, I think I'll take that. That'll do. Let's rob these guys first. Vampire dust in them, Mum. And that's all you want to get. Got destruction. Okay. That'll do. So, okay.
The prophesied time has come. I have reclaimed one of my lost Elder Scrolls, and now I must have a moth priest uh, to read it. For the one who brings me a moth priest, I promise high place in my court and the gift of my potent blood. Go forth and find me a moth priest. This is my command. Okay. Very nice. Anyway, so what we do is we pop up here. And we activate the Waystone Source. Now, what you're going to have to do is actually defeat him. He's, he's uh, under some kind of control. So don't worry, he's essential. He can't find me. Okay, so let's go and get him. And he's quite tough, actually. He's surprisingly tough. Okay, that's it. That, that wasn't me. You were fighting. Uh, it looked like you. Time. I think Are you all right? Getting hungry. Uh, I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. Oh, very good. These vampires claimed they had some purpose in store for me. But they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. You I know why they need you, because right we need you for the same purpose. Place. We're called you the Dawn Guard, and we need you to read an Elder Scroll. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. You can find us at Fort Dawnguard near Stendar's Beacon. Before more of those vampires turn up. Okay, that's it. Just head on out. Yeah, I might have missed a few chests and a few bits and bobs around here, so uh, have a hunt around. It's a really interesting little uh, place, actually. Okay, let's get the guys to uh, follow me again. Come on, Jenissa, come with me. I am the shadow at your back. That's very nice, Jenissa, very nice. Come on, Serana. Come with me. Let's go. Come on, Cedric, follow me. Wah. <laughs> Okay, back to Fort Dawnguard. Where are you? Okay, let's go. So, let's go and have a chat with old Grumpy Pants. You should be. Does he have the scroll? Is everything ready? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. My trip to Skyrim has become quite the adventure. Glad you made it here safely, Dexican. Or ah, Dexian, sorry. It's good to see you again. <laughs> have my companions it's made you feel welcome? Really? But your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. Isran's abundant enough for sure. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Are you prepared to read oh, the Elder Scroll? Certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the night's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, 
and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. Well, yeah, that reading's very, very tiring stuff. Okay, so... Let's wait while all these uh, things finish and start. Do you have a moment to talk? Okay, we started seeking disclosure. We can find the Elder Scroll Dragon, which we already have. Find the Elder Scroll Blood, and we've completed the Elder Scroll Dragon. What's on your mind? That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Why didn't you say something Those earlier? People in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father. Now that's saying something. Ever since he decided to make what is it between you two? Time, we kind of drifted apart. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just a means to an end. So where is this Elder Scroll? Mother, She'll definitely know where it is, and if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. You said you didn't know where she saw, went. She said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Sounds like she's being cautious. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? In Castle Volkiha. Wait, that almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too peaceful. Isn't that pretty risky, staying around the castle? But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. They aren't going to let us use but the front I know door. Get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. Yeah, okay. I've got loads of bits and bobs and selling to do off camera, so um, I think I'll meet her actually at the castle. So we'll call it a day there, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, see you next time, guys. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.